Okay, so thank you for coming out today. Let me just give you a quick run of show of how this is going to work. We have some speakers that represent the partners that are an integral part of this location here today who are going to say some words. And then we will uh, take questions from you all. When that's done, uh, Brittany is going to take you all over to get some B-roll from willing participants. So we'll be asking folks if they're willing to be filmed and then putting you in touch with them. So be a little patient. That might take us a little time, but um, we think that this is really important. We're really glad that you're here today. So without any further delay, I'm going to quickly introduce the speakers and then they're going to hand off uh, one to the other and say and spell their names as we go. So first we have uh, Contra Costa County Board of Supervisors Chair Diane Burgess. She'll be handing off to Chris Boyd, who is the Senior Vice President and Area Manager for the Diablo Service Area of Kaiser Permanente. Then we'll hear from the Concord Mayor, Tim McGallion. Um, then we have Dr. Ken Grullon, who is the physician in charge for the Diablo Service Area for Kaiser Permanente. And uh, last is Dr. Orit Savelli, who is one of our Deputy Health Officers, but he is also the Operations Chief for our COVID response. So I'm gonna hand it off to the Supervisor. Five foot tall, gotta have the stool. <laughs> My name is Diane Burgess, B-U-R-G-I-S. I am the chair of the board for the Contra Costa County Board of Supervisors. Good morning. Yep. Yesterday, we announced that Contra Costa County is the first county in the state to open up to 16 and over as an eligibility to get vaccinated. Everyone from our governor to our president agree that it's a priority to move quickly towards this goal. We agree and we're doing just that. The day we gave the first vaccine to our, our, in our county, we declared that getting everyone protected was our top priority. And we haven't strayed from that goal. Today, those efforts are getting a major shot in the arm. The opening of the county's largest vaccination site here at Hurricane Harbor, where we can give up to 15,000 doses a week. This is a drive-through site, obviously, so people can conveniently get immunized while sitting in their car. <clears throat> to beat COVID, we all need to work together as a team this site embodies the teamwork required to lead us to the other side of this pandemic. The county will be working here alongside our great partners, Kaiser Permanente and the city of Concord. And as we recognize those who made this possible, I wanna offer a special thank you to County Supervisor Karen Mitchell, who represents this area in helping make this site come to fruition. This new drive-through vaccination site here in Concord is going to get us to our post-pandemic destination faster. So we ask people, wear your masks, gather outside if you get together with people outside your household, maintain distance between you and others. In addition to our partners here today, we wanna to thank the National Guard and we want to let thank Six Flags Hurricane Harbor for the support that they are offering. So, if you live or work in Contra Costa County, sign up now on the website cchealth.org or call 883-VAX-COCO. Now I'm going to turn it over to Chris Floyd. <laughs> Thank you, Supervisor Burgess. I'm Chris Boyd, B-O-Y-D. C-H-R-I-S. Kaiser Permanente welcomes this opportunity to be working with Contra Costa Health Services and the City of Concord to open this vaccination site. The goal of the site is to continue to add to the broader solution for vaccine access and increasing capacity in Contra Costa County. The health and safety of our members and the communities we serve is our top priority. Kaiser Permanente has decades of experience delivering vaccinations both safely and efficiently, strictly following public health and medical guidance, 
and this opportunity helps us increase our capacity to deliver more vaccine doses. Kaiser Permanente will have the capacity to provide as many as 2,000 daily appointments at this clinic once the site is fully operational, with appointment availability being dependent on our receiving enough vaccine supply. We look forward to this partnership, and as we receive more vaccine, we can continue to get it into the arms of our members and our communities at our Kaiser Permanente facilities and at sites like this. I'll now turn it over to Tim, Mayor Tim McGellion. All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Mayor Tim McGallion from the city of Concord, spelled T-I-M, last name is M-C-G-A-L-L-I-A-N. And I would like to, again, welcome everyone to the city of Concord as the largest city in Contra Costa County. Um, Concord is honored to be able to host a site such as you're gonna see behind us. Um, we're so glad that we can serve everyone throughout the county and make this such a huge opportunity for every, everyone to be able to get their vaccine. Well, it's unfortunate that Hurricane Harbor has to temporarily be closed. We are so fortunate that we can also use this site, this venue, to be able to help people with this drive through site to be able to get this life-saving vaccine. Um, I want to also commend the county for the speed in which they have been able to distribute the vaccine in Contra Costa County and incredibly proud that the county is the first in the state to accomplish, to be able to accomplish, to get to that point so that everyone 16 and older is eligible for the vaccine. Thank you to our Contra Costa Health officials for working so diligently and collaboratively with all the cities and partners in order to make this a reality. Um, we wanna to continue to encourage people to get their vaccination now as soon as possible, and that we know that this is something that will make the huge, hugest difference in our community um, we want to make sure that everyone is aware that, of course, we have programs such as Help Your Neighbor, and you can go onto the Contra Costa County website to be able to sign up, help your friends, help your family, and in some cases, um, parents, help your older children, now 16 and over, to be able to sign up, to be able to get their vaccine. I also want to thank this incredible partnership between Kaiser Permanente and the thousands of people that are now able to get their shot and in partnership with the county, and of course, many members within the city of Concord have been able to make this possible. So now I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to Dr. Gruyan from Kaiser. Thank you, Mayor McGallion. My name is uh, Dr. Ken Gruyan, K-E-N-G-R-U-L-L-O-N, -L -L and I'm the physician in chief of the Diablo service area, Kaiser Permanente, spans from Walnut Creek to Antioch and all the surrounding areas. Everyone deserves the opportunity to be vaccinated, to help protect them from COVID-19. And we are committed to administering vaccines equitably according to federal, state, and county guidelines. We are committed to providing the COVID-19 vaccine to eligible people as quickly and equitably as possible based on the supply we receive. And thank you so much to Contra Costa County for contributing significant amounts. And we're using the power of our integrated system to support the communities most affected by COVID-19. As crucial vaccine supplies begin to increase, it is vitally important that the public feel confident in the safety of the vaccines and are willing to be vaccinated, particularly in communities most affected by the pandemic. As an aside, as a uh, physician and uh, a Latino male, I'm fully vaccinated. My wife just received her first vaccine and my 19 year old daughter is eagerly awaiting her opportunity. We are actively working to educate our members, workforce, customers and communities about the safety and effectiveness of the vaccines and to promote understanding of how a vaccine continue, coupled with continued public health measures like wearing of masks, appropriate physical distancing and frequent hand washing can help control and ultimately bring around the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. Let's keep up all those measures. Kaiser Permanente has always had a deep commitment to health equity, and we are ideally positioned to help reduce health disparities during and after the COVID-19 pandemic. We see this large scale vaccination site as a great opportunity for our community to be empowered and to protect themselves and others by getting vaccinated when it's their turn. Would love to see you here. And right now, 
I will pass it on to Dr. Ori Zavelli, the county health officer. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ori Zavelli. First name O R I. Last name T like Tom, Z like zebra, V like Victor, I like India, E like Echo, L like Lemon, I like India. We promised our community we would open a large scale vaccination site once we have had enough vaccine and that day has come. We are now at a place where vaccine supply is starting to meet or even exceed demand. We are moving fast, but in a thoughtful way with an eye on equity. We are removing barriers eliminating confusion and uncertainty that comes with the eligibility criteria, piloting walk-in clinics so people can go when they have the time. We will continue to prioritize appointments for patients in the lowest quartile of the Healthy Places Index. We continue to do mobile clinics, increasing the number of doses at these clinics by as much as fourfold. In January, we set a goal of vaccinating, uh, of getting 1 million doses into arms by July 4th, and last week, we moved that up to Memorial Day. We're confident that we will meet that goal, and maybe even sooner. We are fortunate to have three safe and effective vaccines against COVID. I urge everybody to get vaccinated when it's their turn. I've already been vaccinated myself. These vaccines are our strongest tool to end the pandemic. Today is a good day. I'd like to hand it back over to Kim McCall. All right, if you have questions and you wanna tell me specifically who you have the question for, where should we start? Yes, over here. Dr. Savelli, you want to talk a little bit about logistics? Our appointments uh, uh, start at about 7.45 and go through uh, the rest of the afternoon. I think the last appointment is at about 3.30 or 3.45. We're asking people to come at their appointment time and not to line up early so that we don't back up the traffic and that way we continue to have a smooth traffic flow throughout the day. Um, that's a good question. Most people can get through within 30 to 45 minutes. We trust people to uh, self-attest. On the county side, we trust people to self-attest when they sign up on our vaccine form and self-certify that they live and work in Contra Costa County. Um, I don't know about Kaiser, if you want to talk about how you approach it. Yeah, as, as Kaiser Permanente, we know exactly who our members are and where they live through their health record. So that's how we're administering. But, I mean, as far as you guys on this side, you know, you're not going to be vaccinated. But the Kaiser County side, the Kaiser County or County County or what's up? We actually have separate systems for, for sign up. Uh, Kaiser Permanente, we, we sign up. We sign up through my doctor online or our own website, so that's how we check. And we do have separate lanes, and people are checking at the front to decide who goes where. Lori, will you talk a little bit about how important it is to have an appointment? People can't just show up. Yes, although we are piloting walk-in sites at some of our other vaccination sites starting next week, and we'll have more about that starting next week. At this site, our drive-through site, it's very important that only people who have an appointment come because otherwise our traffic gets backed up and it becomes a mess. So here it's really by appointment only. And for the county appointments, you go to cchealth.org, fill out an interest form, and you'll get an appointment ticket. We are using all three vaccines. The majority of what we have here at this site is Pfizer and, and uh, Johnson & Johnson or Janssen vaccine. 
Um, so, uh, but we are using all three vaccines and depending on what is allotted to us by the state and federal sources, it may be different vaccines on different days. When you come, if you are slated to receive a two-dose vaccine like the Pfizer, then when you come through and get your first shot, they'll immediately give you your follow-up appointment for your second dose. Um, we are ratcheting up. So this week we're starting between Kaiser and county doses. We're at about uh, 1,500 to 2,000 a day. By next week, we expect to be at about twice that. So somewhere between 12,000 and 16,000 doses a week. Since we opened up our eligibility for 16 and over for anyone who lives or works in Contra Costa County, we've had huge demand. Our phones have been ringing off the hook. Uh, we had over 30,000 people sign up for appointments overnight and more are coming in. Um, that's great. We want people to sign up. We want people to be patient with us because demand is very high and might take us a few days to get back to you. But more appointments do open up. Each day we open up thousands of more appointments. So we will get to you. And uh, if you're patient, you should be getting an appointment within the next few weeks. So Ori, if you'll reiterate, 15 to 49 with cchealth.org only. That's right, 16 to 49 with cchealth.org only. Uh, my turn will add that eligibility on April 15th. But for now, that's only at cchealth.org. Um, we know that there's about 375,000 people who live in Contra Costa County in that age group that have yet to receive the vaccine. We're hoping that all of them come through. Uh, in reality, I think about 80% or so uh, are choosing to get vaccinated. Good thing is that the vaccine hesitancy that some people have, they wanted to make sure this was safe and effective is going down. More people are trusting the vaccine. More people are seeing how effective it is, how safe it is, that really uh, there's very few adverse effects or allergic reactions. So we're hoping that all of those people come through and get vaccinated. Uh, I think it, it will trickle in over time. And we just had good news today on the Pfizer vaccine that um, the studies are coming out that it's also safe and effective for ages 12 to uh, to 15, so that's not approved yet by the FDA, but we, in the next few weeks we expect that approval to come through and we'll be able to open up to the younger age group when the FDA says it's okay. We have not done an analysis of vaccination rates uh, versus voting patterns. Great question. We have a uh, observation area where we observe people uh, after the vaccine and there's medical personnel, including emergency personnel available to get, give them treatment right away. Uh, we also do a pre-screening before we give the shot to make sure that they're not allergic to any components of the vaccine. So uh, we've had very few adverse reactions. We've vaccinated uh, over six, we put in over 600,000 doses in the county. And I can just tell you how amazingly safe and effective this has been really one of the best vaccines uh, or sets of vaccines made in modern medical history. Hey, Ori, uh, Supervisor Burgess has a uh, comment she'd like to make. Yeah, I just want to clarify that when you go on cchealth.org, what you're doing is getting in line. You may not get your appointment right away, but we have a system that can accommodate you saying, I'm interested, I want to get my vaccine and then you're in line. And so we've been able to turn that over. So 30,000 people last night, we'll be able to get through that just in a couple days of you know, getting to people. So I just want people to know that when you go on cchealth.org, you're getting in line. So I wanna encourage everybody to get in line. And Mike Mayer said, 
If you have someone in your life, someone you know that hasn't signed up, either they're hesitant or they don't feel comfortable with technology or they just haven't done it yet, help them. Help them get signed up. Um, the, um, the thought process behind opening up our eligibility to everyone 16 and over was really simple. We had appointments that were at risk of not being filled and we wanted to fill them. Uh, we knew we would get a deluge of interest, but we also knew that we had more confidence in our vaccine supply coming through that we'll be able to have more and more appointments. So rather than doing it piecemeal, we thought the, with the volume of, a, of vaccines coming through, the number of partnerships we've made with Kaiser, with La Clinica, with Lifelong, with private provider groups, uh, with John Muir, we knew we had the partnerships and the doses in place to really get the vaccine out to our community. Ori, it's also the structure that the governor laid out. That's right. And it's also the structure that the government laid out that after the 15 over, the next group would be the 16 plus. Um, we're not in a place where we have any unused doses or wasted doses. We do know that every county is different and they're all actually increasing the vaccine availability. Many of the counties, uh, our neighboring counties are tapping into the same federal and state sources of vaccine that we have been able to tap into. So I expect you will see supply of appointments increasing throughout the Bay Area in the coming days and weeks. Kids uh, 16 and 17 can only get the Pfizer vaccine and they do need their parents' approval. That can be done uh, in writing or verbally. It was one million doses by Memorial Day, and we think we will meet that sooner. That's right. Uh, I'm very pleased to read that news this morning that the vaccine is, uh, the Pfizer vaccine seems to be safe and effective uh, for 12 to 15 year olds. We're waiting to look at the actual data and the FDA will do that. And once they approve the vaccine, expecting that they do, uh, we will be happy to vaccinate that age group as well. Hey, doctor, we're gonna have, I'm going to have Dr. Guillon answer that question as well, please. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, to be honest, it wasn't completely surprising because we know that that younger group does fairly well. There are some rare complications with the COVID, vac with the COVID, with COVID disease itself. But 12 to 16, 100% is just absolutely amazing. I'm hoping personally that it gets approved relatively quickly. We can start over the summer and get kids vaccinated so that schools in September, August and September will just be at full strength. I'm really hoping for that. All right, thank you. So uh, quickly, again, uh, we're going to follow Brittany and everybody who's on my team, raise your hand if you can help. So Will and Jackie will help to talk to people in their cars as they come forward and Brittany will show you where to go. So you'll have the opportunity to take B-roll and still photos down there. If you want to talk to people more in depth, it's really important that we not hold up the process. So if you can talk somebody into pulling in here and you want to come and do a one-on-one -on -one with them, this space will be available for that. But please don't do that in the line over there where people are getting their shots. Does that make some sense? All right. Thank you all.